busy bosses have the whole coaching thing taken care of. They don't do any because they are too frantic. Not a good approach, is it? Because we know we need to develop our people. No one will get promoted unless there is a willing and able replacement ready to step up. Coaching is how we get them ready. And today, we will look at how to coach people properly. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo Japan, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be ready soon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center here in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 93, and we are talking about coaching secrets. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sorry, there are. my show. So let's get going. A consistent issue our clients raise with us concerns effective coaching. Becoming a leader is usually the result of demonstrating your own ability to get results. We promote the performers in the hope some of the pixie dust will get sprinkled around. The outcomes are often underwhelming. For the organization to grow, it needs talent to be fostered right through the whole organization. The natural owners of that fostering effort are the leaders. Here is a seven-step process which will vastly improve the coaching outcomes. One, identify opportunities. For busy leaders, selecting who to coach is a critical decision. The staff with the most untapped potential are probably the most attractive candidates. You can't do everything at once, so start with the option that will create the most value. Number two, picture the desired outcome. The coach must work with the staff member to arrive at a clear vision of what the improved state will look like. It is hard to hit a target you haven't nominated. Creating a word picture of the desired outcome helps to keep the efforts focused, especially when the chaos of every day seems to conspire to ensure you get distracted. Number three, establish the right attitude. We need to know our people in order to understand how to communicate the change need in a way that resonates with them and they want to be part of it. 
learning to talk in terms of the individual's personal motivations is powerful. Number four, provide the resources. The most expensive and highest value resource is your time to devote to coaching. It also requires a sincere personal commitment to see the person being coached succeed. People develop in different ways and at different times. So making ourselves the only metric of success is folly. Five, practice and skill development. Make the time. Identify the correct skill set needed. Explain it. Demonstrate it. Then let them practice it. There is a balancing act going on here where we need to let go but keep monitoring without micromanaging them. Six, reinforce progress. Knowing, doing are sometimes related, but don't expect because they have learned it, they are automatically doing it. Check that there is no slipping back into the cuddly comfort zone as people revert to their old, better established habits. Seven, reward. What we reward gets repeated, and what gets repeated becomes a new habit. Give praise, which is specific, explaining exactly what they are doing that is good, rather than obtuse general statements of approbation. None of this is complicated. Common sense, though, is not common. Executing these steps takes commitment, but the rewards are enormous. If your leadership team is coaching your key people using a solid process and your rival leaders are not, expect to win the war. Action steps, one, identify opportunities. Two, picture the desired outcome. Three, establish the right attitude. Four, provide the resources. Five, practice and skill development. Six, reinforce progress. Seven, reward. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Our website details are on screen now, enjapan.dalecanny.com. It's awesome value, so please check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan Series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches You Know Share Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series, every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. Also, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show, every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and every Saturday, Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support. Please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And please join us in that endeavor. In episode 94, we are talking about fire the client. Onigai Tashimas, please join me next week to master business here because that's what we all want, isn't it? Japan Business Mastery.